Hello everyone. Have you ever looked at the clouds and saw a shape that you thought looked like an animal? Or have you ever looked at a stock and thought you knew when people were going to buy and sell? Or have you ever fallen down a YouTube rabbit hole where suddenly you believe that the light you've been seeing periodically outside your window every once in a while is a UFO? Well, if you have done any of these things, or even if you've done none of these things, chances are you've experienced a psychological phenomenon called apophenia. Apophenia is when people see a meaningful pattern in unrelated or random things. Our brains are pattern detecting machines that have been trained to see patterns in almost anything. This has been helpful in evolution to allow us to find food, detect danger, and navigate social relationships. But many times, this type of pattern detecting can go into overdrive and lead us to what statisticians call a type 1 error, or false positive. We notice patterns that lead to conclusions that aren't meaningful or don't exist. To better understand this, let's look at four main categories of apophenia. Pareidolia, gambler's fallacy, clustering illusion, and confirmation bias. Pareidolia is apophenia based on visual stimuli. For example, we see clouds shaped like various animals, we see a man on the moon, or we find a potato chip that looks exactly like Abraham Lincoln. Obviously there aren't animals in the sky, a man on the moon, and we didn't pull Abe Lincoln out of a bag of chips. But our brains recognize these patterns and can make the relation between these unrelated things. This type of apophenia is pretty fun, and there are many examples out there on the internet. The gambler's fallacy is when we see patterns that don't exist related to gambling. For example, you might be playing a game that involves flipping a coin and you swear you see a pattern on how often the coin is flipping heads or tails, but in reality there is no pattern at all. This type of apophenia might lead you to believe that you can predict random events, and can be quite dangerous for one's wallet. The clustering illusion involves seeing patterns with large amounts of data. One example that I found interesting was investing in stocks. You might look at a stock graph and try to time the market based on patterns you see in the peaks and valleys. But in reality, more often than not, the patterns you see are misleading and could be related to multiple factors, and you're predicting meaningful patterns where there are largely none. This is especially true when day trading and nothing specifically significant is impacting the market. Confirmation bias is a popular one that you might have heard before. This is a phenomenon where people have a hypothesis, assume it's true, and then test it with various types of evidence. Of course, when you assume your hypothesis is true, you will only focus on the data that confirms your hypothesis and ignore all the data that disproves it. This is how many conspiracy theories get created, because it is easy to point everyone to a bunch of evidence that proves something while ignoring everything that disputes it. Apophenia is something that we as humans can't help but experience from time to time, and it can range from lighthearted cloud watching to more serious false beliefs and conspiracies and even paranoia. One of the goals of my videos is to help you, my subscribers, look at the world in a different way, and I hope that by learning about apophenia, you can at least recognize it in your daily lives and understand what it is. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.